Hello everyone, I'm using uh, Blender 2.90.1, the latest version uh, at this time. Um, I want to show you basically how to create this object the vanilla way. Um, there is no need for any type of add-ons other than the bowl tool which comes with Blender. You just got to select it on. Um, that basically is under preferences. You go in there, you just search for a bowl, and when it comes up, make sure it's selected. This is a great way to basically boolean your objects. Okay, so that's basically uh, the start of this. This is what we're going to create. Okay, so we're going to open up Blender, and uh, we're going to create uh, this object in 2.90.1. So now I got this open, it comes with a basis square. I'm going to go in and actually adjust the square. So I'm going to make sure this is on the view on perspective. So this way I can actually make sure that this is done right. I'm also going to select the magnetic tool and go to increment. This will make it much easier to actually adjust the, the square to, to what I want. So I'm going to pull this out and uh, make this basically two meters wide. Um, you could actually select that and make sure it's two meters. Go ahead and type it in if you want to. Hit enter. Now I'm actually going to move this down below the zero axis, which is the edge of that uh, pinkish reddish line, and line it up. The increments makes it much easier to um, completely make sure it actually moves to the right location. So now I'm creating a disk, an actual tube. And I'll make it at 64 uh, vertices to make it much smoother. I'm going to also go in and rotate this on the uh, x-axis. So that way it'll be uh, the right angle. And uh, I'm going to now move this up basically on the z-axis. One meter up. So now exactly it lines up with the other part. So now I'm going to select the disk and right click and do a shade smooth. And then go into normals and select that and click on the auto smooth. Same with the square. Click on auto smooth. Okay. I'm going to go to edit mode and select the disc and select the front face. So hit the delete key, delete faces. Do the same thing now with the square. So I'm go back to object mode, select the square, rectangle, and go in there and actually um, go to edit mode. Basically, what I'm doing is adding some edges there to make it much easier. One in the center first, and then one on each side. This way, it'll be much easier to manipulate this object. Okay, so I'm now going to continue to select all the polygons and do Control I, select the reverse, and delete those. Complete faces. Okay. So now I'm going to select both of these objects in object mode and go to the bull tool again and union these things together so it becomes one object. Okay. Now I'm actually going to go in and go back to edit mode. Um, and one thing I'm going to make sure I do here is actually select the auto merge vertices on top of the screen here. So that way, these top two poly or points will be merged. And then we'll actually go in and actually select the snap tool with vertices on. That way, it actually will connect to the square. There's not two points there by accident. So now I'm going to actually uh, deselect the auto merge vertices tool, and also des deselect the snap uh, uh, vertices. And then I'm going to select these points. Um, and hit the F key. That way it actually has um, another poly here to control. Zoom out a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna use the knife tool and split the center of this. That way I can actually uh, cut this in half and not have to do this twice. This makes it much easier. I'm gonna go to uh, ob uh, polygon mode and select all the other polys. And then I'm gonna delete and hit faces. So now I'm going to go to point mode and select those two points and bring those down basically. So 
So then I'm going to delete the actual uh, edge of that. The edge of this. It's nice and clean. I'm going to go to object mode and basically going to add that modifier to this. I'm going to use the mirror tool. I'm also going to make sure it's on clipping, so in case it's uh, past the, uh, the edge. I've done that. I applied the uh, mirror. I'm going to go to edit mode. Okay, I'm going to select these uh, polys. And basically I'm going to go to the side a little bit, see what I'm doing here. And now I'm going to extrude this uh, in increments. So I'm going to put that in increments. Hit the extrude tool and then start bringing this stuff out at 5 meters long. I'm going to go back in now and actually delete uh, this line and the line on the other side. Since it's now created the, the actual tops, uh, we can do that now. I'm going to go back in and now select the those two polygons and I'm going to inset faces. So now I'm actually going to select uh, that uh, polygon and actually go to uh, extrude manifold, uh, which is under extrude. And I'm going to make sure that the um, actual auto merge is on. So when I go five increments in, right when it hits that edge, it'll actually um, connect those points together. Okay. I also go in and select this polygon. Delete face. Okay. Looks good. Now the next thing is to do is to get rid of some of this other excess stuff that we don't need. Delete, dissolve lines. All right. I'm gonna go back in and delete these uh, vertices again. For some reason we have never got rid of those yet. Okay, delete. Vertices. All right. Same with this side. So now I'm going to select some of these edges and bevel them to give some nice edge to it. I'm going to hit the bevel key, and then I'm going to add some segments around about nine edges. And same thing here. So it has a nice smooth transition. Okay. I'm going to select the outer edge with the shift key. And also select this area with the shift key. I'm going to bevel this in. So both sides are beveled. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of edge to this. Round four. Okay, that's looking good. Same with the other side. Double click it. Double click the outer edge. And again, pull it out. Again, I'm going to add some segments to this. About four. So now I'm going to select the polygons um, on both of these sections here. I'm going to add a, a hard uh, edge to it. So I'm going to right click. Go to under, of course, uh, go to edge mode first. Right click. Oh, I'm actually going to deselect those edges right there. And those. Let's make sure the outer edge is selected as we do this. Same with this side. I'm going to select the, those edges away. You don't want to make that a hard edge. It'll cause a problem with the, the way it looks. Okay, go to make sharp be much better looking once you do this. Okay, same thing here. We'll go around this whole section of the square area. Make that sharp as well. Select one at a time. Go to edge mode. Make sharp. Okay, same with the other side. Hit all four edges. Make sharp. Okay. Um, be much better detail when you're rendering it. Okay, go to object mode, see what this thing looks like. Let's come together. 
nice and a nice edge to it. I'm going to go to matte cap and change it to uh, something a little bit easier to see. You can see the edge there now. It looks really nice. Doesn't look distorted. So we're going to hit the number three pad and go to uh, the side view. And we're going to actually add in a cube. So we're going to bring this over. I'm going to make sure that's also still set on uh, increments. That way you can actually easily uh, maneuver this square. And I'm going to go in and actually um, adjust it. Put it into this area. So now I'm going to go to edit mode and select the edges on the bottom edge to make a nice smooth transition. So select both sides. And then I'm going to use the bevel uh, tool. This way it actually um, split it really nicely. Okay, I'm going to add in uh, uh, 12 segments. Okay, nice smooth transition there. This will look really nice when you cut it. Alright, so that's it for that. I'm going to go in and uh, adjust this uh, box now. So I'm going to maneuver this down move this section down so that way those edges will be exactly where they need to be. So we're going to scale this out on the x-axis so that it goes all the way through. Okay, there we go. Go into see-through mode. Make sure that these lines don't uh, hit each other. Because if you do that, it causes some issues. Okay, so go back to object mode and now we're going to go to the bull tool and cut this out of this other object. First I'm going to smooth this and add uh, the normal 3 degrees. So that way when you do this it will actually be a nice cut. Okay, so select those. Make sure you hit the cutting tool first and the second tool, second uh, object second and hit the difference. Alright, it's looking good. So go back to edit mode and now we're going to do some adjustments on the edges there. And select all that, select all that. We should go around and select all the edges. Uh, select this side as well, go around there, and now we're going to top, select the top section around. And now I'm going to deselect some of these um, sections. And then I'm going to deselect the, those edges uh, right there, basically. So deselect that one, deselect this one. Okay, so now I'm going to hit the uh, bevel tool and bring this in. Okay, let's change that up to about four. Go ahead and select left key. Looks good. So now I'm going to mark sharp on some of these faces. So I'm going to select the edges and go around. So now right click and mark sharp. I'm going to select these areas too because this is be a good area to make it sharp as well. Double click all the way through. Both sides, double click. And then select the bottom piece, right? Because that's all uh, flat, poly, mark sharp. Same with the other side. Double click it. Double click with shift key, double click with shift key. Continue to select. All right, same thing here. Right click, mark sharp. Okay, so now I'm going to add a little bit of bevel to the edges inside those little sections here. So I'm going to double, double select it with the shift key. Hit the, select those lines. Same thing on the very corner here. Do all four sections. Now I'm going to bevel these as well. Make sure it's all the way through the bevel key, just pull it out a little bit, not too much, just give a little bit of edge to there, okay, 
That looks good. Okay, now I'm going to also select the inner here, the inner on the bottom, and bevel that section as well, both sides, the bevel key. Pull it out. Nice little edge to that as well. Okay, let's bring it up to about four. Looking really good. Let's take a look at it. Okay, that looks really good. So got a little edge problem on the outer inner sections right there. And same on the other side. We still got to bevel these. Okay, go back to edit mode and double select the circle. Go to the other side, do the same thing. Double click, shift key, just pull that out. Okay, hit segments, go to about four. All right, there we go. So this is how you basically make a hinge that's really um, nice flow on edges. Uh, hope this helps. So please subscribe if you like these videos so I can continue to do these. Alright, take care.